Welcome to upscpractice.com. Let's discuss on the Agni missile. The Agni missile is a family of medium to intercontinental range ballistic missiles developed by India, named after one of the five elements of nature. Agni means fire. Agni missiles are long range nuclear weapons capable of surface to surface ballistic missile. The first missile of the series, Agni 1, was developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program or IGMDP and tested in 1989. After its success, Agni missile program was separated from IGMDP upon realizing its strategic importance. It was designated as a special program in India's defense budget and provided adequate funds for subsequent development. As of November 2019, the missiles in the Agni series are being inducted into service. The family comprises of the following different Agni models. Agni 1. The range is 700 to 1200 km. Agni P. The range is 1000 to 2000 km. Agni 2. The range is 2000 to 3500 km. Agni 3. The range is 3000 to 5000 km. Agni 4. The range is 3500 to 4000 km. Agni 5. The range is 5000 to 8000 km. And Agni 6. The range is 11000 to 12000 km. Let's look at Agni 1. The two-stage Agni technology demonstrator with a solid fuel first stage was first tested at the interim test range in Chandipur in 1989. It was capable of carrying a conventional payload of 1000 kg or a nuclear warhead. This original technology demonstrator evolved into the solid fuel Agni-1 and Agni-2 missiles. India first developed the two-stage 2000 km range Agni-2, testing it in 1999. It then used the first stage of the system to develop the 700 km range single stage Agni-1, which was first tested in January 2002. Weighing 12 ton with a length of 15 meters, Agni-1 has a range of 700 to 900 kilometers and is capable of carrying a conventional payload of 1000 kg or a nuclear warhead at a speed of 2.5 kilometers per second. Agni missiles consist of one short range or two stages of one. These are rail and road mobile and powered by solid propellants. Agni-1 is used by the Strategic Force Command SFC of the Indian Army. The latest missile test occurred on 13th July 2012 when India test fired Agni-1 successfully at Wheeler Island of Orisha coast. On 11th April 2014, the missile was test fired for the first time in a night trial exercise to its full range of 700 km from the Wheeler Island of the Orisha coast. The missile randomly picked from production line was test fired by the Strategic Forces Command after 11 pm. This test was the first night after two previous tests failed due to technical glitches. The missile was test fired from a mobile launcher with logistics support from DRDO at the integrated test range as part of the regular training exercise by the armed forces. With a special weapons load, Agni-1 can reach 1200 km. As compared to Agni-2, Agni-1 is less costly, simple, accurate and more mobile. Let's discuss about Agni-2. Agni-2 with a range of 2000 to 2500 km is 20 meters long, has a diameter of 1 meter and weighs around 18 tons. Agni-2 used solid propellant in both of its two stages. They are claimed to be a part of the credible deterrence against China and Pakistan. India stated that its nuclear and missile development programs are not Pakistan-centric, that the Pakistani threat is only a marginal factor in New Delhi security calculus, and the Agni is at the heart of deterrence in the larger context of Sino-Indian equation. The 2000 km range nuclear weapon capable missile already inducted into country's arsenal was successfully launched as a training exercise by the Strategic Forces Command on 9th August 2012. India on 7th April 20th, 2013 
conducted its latest test of its nuclear capable Agni 2 strategic ballistic missile from a missile testing range in Odisha. The test was conducted from Abdul Kalam Island, formerly known as Wheeler Island, in Bhadrak district by army personnel as part of a training exercise. India successfully conducted the first night trial of nuclear capable intermediate range ballistic missile Agni 2 from the Abdul Kalam Island of the Odisha coast on 16th November 2019. The 20 meter long two stage ballistic missile has a strike range of 2000 km to 3000 km. It has a launch weight of 17 tons and can carry a payload of 1000 kg. Let's discuss about Agni 3. Agni 3 is the third in the Agni series of missiles and Agni 3 uses solid propellant in both stages. Agni 3 was first tested on 9th July 2006 from Wheeler Island off the coast of the eastern state of Odisha. After the launch, it was reported that the second stage of the rocket did not separate and the missile had fallen well short of its target. Agni 3 was again tested on 12th April 2007, this time successfully, again from Wheeler Island. On 7th May 2008, India again successfully test fired this missile. This was the third consecutive test. It validated the missile's operational readiness while extending the reach of India's nuclear deterrent to most high-value targets of the nation's most likely adversaries. Agni-3 has a range of 3,500 km and can take a warhead of 1.5 tons. It has been reported that the missile's circular error probable or CEP lies in the range of 40 meters. This would make Agni-3 the most accurate strategic ballistic missile of its range cl class in the world. This is of special significance because a highly accurate ballistic missile increases the kill efficiency of the weapon. It allows Indian weapons designers to use smaller yield nuclear warheads while increasing the lethality of the strike. This permits India to deploy a much larger nuclear force using less fusion material than other nuclear powers. Older ballistic missiles such as those deployed by earlier nuclear powers require larger yield warheads to achieve the same level of lethality. It has also been reported that with smaller payloads, Agni-3 can hit strategic targets well beyond 3500 km. Let's discuss about Agni-4. Agni-4 is the fourth in the Agni series of missiles which was earlier known as Agni-2 Prime. Agni-4 was first tested on 15th November 2011 and 19th September 2012 from Wheeler Island off the coast of the eastern state of Odisha for its full range of 4000 km. The Agni-4 lifted off from a road mobile launcher at 11.48 am and after climbing to an altitude of over 800 km, it re-entered the atmosphere and impacted near the pre-designated target in the Indian Ocean with remarkable degree of accuracy following a 20-minute flight. Carrying a payload of explosives weighing a ton, the missile re-entered the atmosphere and withstood searing temperatures of more than 3000 degrees Celsius. With a range of 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers, Agni-4 bridges the gap between Agni-2 and Agni-3. It was again successfully test-fired on 20th January 2014. Agni-4 can take a warhead of 1 ton. It is de designed to increase the kill efficiency along with a higher range performance. Agni-4 is equipped with state-of-the-art technologies that includes indigenously developed ring laser gyro and composite rocket motor. It is a two-stage missile powered by solid propellant. Its length is 20 meters and launch weight 17 tons. It can be fired from a road mobile launcher. Let's discuss about the Agni-5. The Agni-5 is a solid-fueled intercontinental ballistic missile or ICBM developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO of India. It will greatly expand India's reach to strike targets more than 5,500 km away. Agni-5 was first test fired on 19th April 2012 at 8.07 am IST from Wheeler Island off the coast of Orissa. The test was successful. Agni-5 ICBM 
has been designed with the addition of a third composite stage to the two stage agni 3 missile to reduce the weight of weight it is built with high composite content the 17.5 meter long agni 5 would be a canister launch missile system so as to ensure that it has the requisite operational flexibility and can be swiftly transported and fired from anywhere agni 5 weighs around 49 tons one ton more than the agni 3 and a much longer range the second test launch of Agni-5 was successfully done on 15 September 2013 at 8.43 am IST from Wheeler Island. In January 2015, the canister version was successfully tested from Wheeler Island. Let's discuss about the Agni-P. The Agni-P is a medium-range ballistic missile under development that incorporates technological advances from Agni-4 and Agni-5 projects. Although it looks similar to Agni-3, but the weight is reduced by half. Agni-P will replace the older generation missiles such as Prithvi, Agni-1 and Agni-2. Let's discuss about the Agni-6. The Agni-6 is an intercontinental ballistic missile reported to be in early stages of development by India and is being developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization. It is to be the latest and most advanced version among the Agni missile program. It will be capable of being launched from submarines as well as from land. And will have a strike range of 8000 to 10000 km with MIRV ED warheads. Further developments into the future of the missile programs of India. In May 2008, Indian scientists announced they had developed and patented a path-breaking technology that increases the range of missiles and satellite launch vehicles by at least 40%. The enhanced range is made possible by adding a special purpose coating of chromium-based material to a rocket's blunt nose cone. The material acts as a reactive ablative coating that forms a thin low-density gaseous layer at the tip of the rocket as it approaches hypersonic speeds. This superheated gas layer reduces drag by 47% at Mach 7 to 8, thereby allowing range enhancements of at least 40%. It has been announced that this technology will be incorporated into future Agni deployments after having undergone ranging and calibration tests. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was an Indian aerospace scientist who served as the 11th President of India from 2002 to 2007. Kalam was selected as the 11th President of India in 2002. Let's hear what he has to say regarding this. In Indian history, at no time, I will, see, I will ask all of you, 2,500 years, any time in Indian history have we invaded any country, but reverse has gone. Reverse is, so many countries have invaded us the last 2,500 years. So our work, whatever we are doing for self, that is our national security. Now, the Agni, we have a next... P.K. Segal is a defense expert. Let's hear what he has to say. ये मिसाइल पाकिस्तान के हर छोटे या बड़े शहर तक पहुंच सकती है चाहे वो बलूचिस्तान में हो चाहे वो नॉर्थ ईस्ट फ्रंटियर प्रोविंस में हो चाहे नीचे सिंध में हो हर हर प्रकार के पाकिस्तान के एरिया में मार कर सकती है अग्नि मिसाइल है ये दुनिया की सबसे एक्यूरेट मिसाइल है इस मिसाइल को इंटरसेप्ट करना जो आज मौजूदा हथियार हैं पाकिस्तान और चाइना के साथ तकरीबन असंभव है इस मिसाइल को जब छोड़ा जाता है तो ये 40 मैक की स्पीड हासिल करती है स्पेस में जाती है और फिर रीएंटर करती है इसकी रीएंट्री स्पीड जो है बहुत तेज है और उसको आसानी से इंटरसेप्ट नहीं किया जा थैंक यू फॉर डिस्कसिंग ऑन दिस आर्टिकल ऑन अग्नि मिसाइल्स ऑफ इंडिया फॉर मोर सच आर्टिकल्स एंड डिस्कशंस इंस्टॉल द यूपीएससी प्रैक्टिस ऐप फ्रॉम द ऐप स्टोर